All right, everybody, welcome to another deep dive. And today, get this, we're tackling high-performance textiles. HPT, as the cool kids call it. Catchy. Right, right. And we're dissecting this, uh, an HPT Marketplace View document. Should be pretty interesting. Yeah, should be. I think you'll find some good stuff in there. A lot about strategy, but you'll find it pretty relevant, actually, whatever you do. Oh, I bet, yeah. It's all about how ISPI sees their place. Right in the whole HPT world. The ecosystem, yeah. Exactly. But it's not just like navel gazing, you know. They're looking at their customers, obviously. That's uh, say that, right. Customers, gotta have them. Right. But it's more than that. It's um, stakeholders, too. Mm -hmm. Shareholders, employees. Suppliers, don't forget them. Communities, too. <laughs> oh, and this pesky government agency is always lurking. Yeah. And competitors, of course. They lay it all out there. It's pretty impressive. It is. But here's where it gets kind of interesting, right? ISPI... They're not just thinking about, you know, the customer they're selling to today. What do you mean? They're thinking about their customer's customer. It's like this ripple effect, right? Cascade. Mm -hmm. What impacts that end user way down the line? It's going to impact ISPI at some point, too, you know? Wow. I never thought about it that way. That's thinking long term. Exactly. Super strategic. I was reading this article the other day about, you know, a brief example of a similar cascade in another industry. Crazy how connected it all is, right? It is. You know what they say, no man is an island. Or in this case, no textile company is an island. There you go. So I will say that the document, it tries to visually like make a diagram of all this, right? The connections. Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah. It's a little, uh, it's a lot going on in that diagram. Someone spilled spaghetti on a whiteboard. That's what it looks like. <laughs> 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 Laughing. <laughs> Pretty much. But OK, the point is, it shows how information goes back and forth mm -hmm. between ISPI and well, all the folks we talked about. And how do they do that? Well, they talk about publications, you know, the old school stuff, conferences, too, mm -hmm. and their website, of course, all the usual suspects. Right. Makes sense. But here's the thing. Don't forget the competition. They're doing the exact same thing. So how does ISPI stand out then? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Well, they talk about, like, information, education, and advocacy. That's directly from the document. Yep. They want to be the smart guys, the helpful ones. But there's also this little phrase, the weight of law, they call it. Ooh, that's interesting. Right. What's that about? Well, I think it hints at something bigger. More rules and regs are coming to the HPT world. Mm -hmm. And ISPI, they're smart. They're saying, hey, we're going to help you navigate this stuff. Smart. So it's not just about the textiles anymore. It's about, like, peace of mind. Yeah and expertise. Exactly. You can trust us. That's what they're saying. Wow. So much to think about. This little document, it's packed. Right. We cover the whole HPT world, how everyone's connected. And how important it is to communicate strategically, right? A hundred percent. But here's the big question, the one I want to leave you with. This market is going to change so much as tech keeps, you know, gestures rapidly advancing technology. Well, What's ISPI's role going to be in all that? Oh, that is a great question. I don't know but I'm excited to see what happens. Anyway, that is going to do it for this deep dive. We covered a lot. See you next time.